This is Flash at the Dork Table on uh, RealLibertyMedia.com on this Saturday. What Saturday is the 9th of uh, November, 2019. For all you calendar watchers out there. And then we got uh, going on here. Hey, grimner has been a lot of help lately with my computer because uh, I got all brave about a week ago. Dun, dun, dun. And re, I, I uninstalled all that Windows shit without a parental supervision. Did you know that, Miss uh, Mary? No, I did not. Yeah, I did it the sat the after the last uh, dark table we did. If that was indeed you, because uh, sometimes so I do are this with you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we are. Yeah. So. I was going to the bathroom on your dime, huh? <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Thank you for the update. Oh, that's okay. Just yeah. what the if, hell? if you're wearing the Eeyore suit, put the camera on because that's the best part of the show. Ah, that's well, I rules. don't have the Eeyore suit on. I know it's you nice don't. Today. But when you do, it's rules, dear. Rules. <laughs> you, know, ah. you know how I am about my rules. Yes, I do. Yes, I yeah. do. Yeah, rules matter when I tell you they matter. And the rest of the time, fuck the rules. <laughs> ah, hey, Dork Cakes is here. Hey, I haven't said hello to the bots and bodies just yet. I was just to the point of, uh, I was stalling because uh, you were gone. But I went live yeah. on my clock, said the hour. So I went live by my clock. Oh, well, that's cool. I don't care. I Yeah, I had to go. Tend to business. Okay, well, I've got... <laughs> yeah, she was promoting her new album. <laughs> yes, it's called The Trickle Down Theory. <laughs> oh, wow, it's a, it's a math equation with, with music. Yeah. Anyway, you want to say hi to Bots and Bodies? Because I, I told... Vin, oh, it might have been Vinny I, I told this to, but I said, I've been saying hi to everybody so fast they can't hear their names. <laughs> Ah, so, well, certainly. No enthusiasm, no no participation. Just read a list. I I wanted them. Yeah. I wanted them to understand. I know what a government can do. I can do it too. <laughs> I just well, don't really want to. Lists can be boring, but they can also be fun. <laughs> Bring in Miss Mary. <laughs> yeah, we got Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world, right up top. Closely followed by Beetle. Beetle. And Beetle still waiting for Barman to deliver his drink. Um, <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. Grimner, the RLM god, Grimner. is here, as well as the lovely Moose Goyle. Moose Goyle. It's, it's the Moose and Goyle. <laughs> we also got some anti going on in the chat, as well as Chalcedoni. Chalcedoni. Yours truly is here. I was having a few issues. Gramsy. Gramsy. Yeah, my Windows 10 computer will not let me download ADI IRC client. It will not. It says it's protecting me for my own good. Hmm. So I want another route. Okay, well, hell? say hello to all the people. I'm, and I'm when kidding. you're done saying hello to all the people, then the, by that time, the tech geeks that are in the RLM can come to the text in the RealLibertyMedia.com chat and offer you their help. They can offer me all kind of wonderful advice, but I got something that works for me, so I'm I'm a happy little girl. Then why are in you complaining? Case, I wasn't complaining. I was oh. explaining. There's uh, a difference. They they end in aining. Ah. Uh, Back to high Java, 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 Java. <laughs> wow, you said aiming, too. I'm starting to worry about I know, you. aiming. That's just disgusting. That's so, that's so aiming. That's a disgusting uh, word. I don't like that word. <laughs> I'm using it. Jeez. It does sound kind of pervy, doesn't it? I may have to add that to my oh, record. Oh, we're, we're <laughs> quoting. Now we're quoting Miss Mary. You potty mouth girl, I swear. <laughs> Okay. No, that's the other end. Uh, okay. Hi, Meister Brow. <laughs> Meister Brow. Mm. It's a Meister Bra to as the, opposed to yeah. a Beast Bra. Um, <laughs> hi, Ponder Gander. He's the Ponder Gander. It's it, oh, the old whore. Yeah. For cakes. We, I had fun. And I don't know cakes. about Michael's, but I had fun last night. Oh, fun last night. 
or yesterday afternoon. I guess. Oh, look uh, at he's giving you the adorations on the real liberty media dot com chat. Mr. I Andy. know because we got all existential. <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, just grab a dictionary and something to write on and listen to the show. I know. Ask me a big word. I can. I could probably pronounce it. Don't. Uh, ask don't. I could probably use it in a sentence too. Yeah. But don't. That don't mean. Don't play dumb blonde. You're just a dork. It's different. <laughs> you don't have the dumb blonde thing. Then you got the dork thing going. But, man. Oh well, that's true. Nothing dumb about you. Dorks. But. Speaking of dorks, yes. um, where did we leave off? Uh, Wait a minute. Where am I at? I'm at Poopster and Prince, <laughs> and they do a show Thursday, Thursday evening, evening here on yeah. the RLM. Late night. And the lovely Miss Kate. Uh, Grimmy, I did not get a client for this machine. I just wound up using the the uh, Kiwi thing from the RLM page. So I said, the hell with it. And I actually like this. I, it, it, it works for me. But... I checked out a few other ones, and I went, nah, nah. So I tried this, and it was like, oh, booyah, I could do this. It has colors. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know. I'm so simple. So it's the simple tone. things in life. Yeah. The lovely Miss Kate. Did I say hi yeah. to Miss Kate? Hi, yeah. Miss Kate again, if I did already. Yeah, you did. We, then you went on a rant. About oh, we got Rome's going on, too. Rome. Rome's is Roman mm. house. Our Roman. Roman candle. Yeah, because yeah. he doesn't like people and going oh, out amongst them. Right. I oh. understand that. There are days when I don't want to be out amongst them either. Mm. We also got the lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter mm. turner of the RLM Chitty Chat. And we got a Vinny PG. It, does that mean Vinny is pregnant? Well, he, <laughs> he's either... <laughs> Wow. Because I, I think it's for PG and E. But I, that's what I thought, too. I think I think it means Vinny. <laughs> but P, right P, I P, want to know who knocked Vinny up. P, Come on, fess Hello, up. Ponder, you, Gander, you did it? P, G, oh, Mary. See please. how you are. No, you're, you're being difficult. Oh. Well, don't, <laughs> since that, this one is that something new. Don't force <laughs> us to get the judge. For a ruling. Oh yeah, well the judge, yeah. We I, will I get the judge. The sanity for a ruling. of the judge. Yeah, Anyone that goes to work in a long, flowing black robe ew. concerns me. Yeah, Vanna White. No wait, Vinny. I already did Weather Vanna. Dark. I I did okay. Vanna and I liked it. <laughs> the Phantom. Is the phantom. Now I'm working on Weather Dark. And the Phantom. See if I can control the weather. I have been called the Mother Earth Goddess, you know. I don't know why, but they think they think I need to write a book too. I moved, oh, yeah, yeah. a book. Yeah, that's yeah. what you need to do. Well, in all your spare me, time, write a book with all your really cool sayings. And I say, you know, my really cool sayings. Mm -hmm. If I write them down on the interwebs, then they're out oh. there on the interwebs, and, oh. and I don't remember them after I type oh. them. Oh. They're gone. Oh, uh. um. <laughs> oh, Vinny Pondergander. Oh, Pregnant thank you, dude. Moose wow. corrected me. Ouch. Thank you, Moosey. <laughs> but I do uh. like the pregnant thing. Wow. <laughs> Talk about. Moving along. That was Hi, mean. Phantom. The, the Phantom, Phantom was in the chat the other day. Oh, he sent me a beverage lucky and woman. everything. Wow. That was so cool. I also see Asmo too. Asmo. The one. Yeah. We got a CC66 in the chat as well. And some just gifts. <laughs> oh, Grimmy says it's Vinnie Pokes Geese. Ew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, if you use duct tape, poker. tell them to use duct tape so they don't explode. <laughs> Ooh, no. That could be messy. No. Yeah. No, I don't know. No. That's just quacked. In any case, Cycles, the lovely Cycles. Hey, honey. I love Cycles. We also got Cyborg Noodle, and may you be touched by his noodly goodness, but not in a pervy way. Why not? Because we don't want to do pervy. We don't? We can do sick and wrong. But oh. Pervy, mm, uh, mm. Well, you know the difference between sick and pervy. 
What's that? Well, sick is when you use a feather. Pervy is when you use the whole chicken. Ah. Yeah. Thanks for that mental image. <laughs> the old joke, Captain Atolio. I just <laughs> used it on another area. Anyway. Con- <clears throat> continue. <laughs> the dark cake. Hey, Metzel, yo, bastard. The dark cake. And we got the end civ, end the civilization, and really become civile yeah. humans or individuals. Nah. Sovereign. Sovereign and nah. civil. <laughs> oh, there you go. That would be <laughs> I know. Good I've dream. tickled your funny bone you without a feather. You made me laugh. Flash something. Hello, me. It's, oh, it's duct tape, not... But I like saying duct tape. There is such a thing as duct tape. D-U-C tape. I I use it. Yeah, on your ducts. But when you you use duct tape on your duct, then it's duct tape. (laughs) Quack, quack, (laughs) not anymore. (laughs) We're going to stop that quacking. Quack, 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 quack. They still have ducts. That's why they make that noise. But they still... Loads of ducks down in the main part of town where I go. Mm. When I want to be in Freddy Town, I go past the ducks. Oh, and Anti says, and Gorilla Tape, which I've seen Gorilla Tape, but, you know, I always wondered, is that the kind of tape that you use to to take the fur off the arms? Because, man, you don't <laughs> want to piss off a gorilla with that shit. Wow. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Hi, Swampy wow. and Frumpy Woik. Yeah. <laughs> Also got some grommet in the chat, as well as JJ's 999, the Scottish speller. Yeah. And looky there, got some pom 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 sauce. And we got, amen, I say unto you, we have the raptor Jesus. Oh. It's the raptor Jesus. Oh, I cool. say amen and repent, ye sinners. Oh, uh, pass. Any... Wait a minute. Pass. Okay, no. no I'm back. You know what repent means? It means walk away. Did oh, you know that? I no, did not I know did that. not know that. Well, you, you said you did not know that after you said, do you know what it means? <laughs> well, I did not before. know that before. But there I know you that go. Now. You know, it. You know what else? Before, now, and there's after. And now I'm after. And this is after the rap the Jesus oh. is coming to my life. <laughs> oh, help. <laughs> We're going to make friends. I think they they left. We're going to influence. Some no, there he is. Too. I've seen. Okay. No, he's still here. Like the real he Donnie she. Woo. That's no. one I'm going to influence. Not the influence. And then we got that Slim Jim Flim going on in the chit chat as well as Smartass. And somebody else has also found the Raptor Jesus. It's the holiest Roger ever. Wow. I know. And then to round out the crew, he won the only ZZ Picks. ZZ Picks. ZZ Picks. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very vulgar. Whatever you know, if somebody it, approached me and said that like a threat, I'd go, oh, "Hey, wait a minute, <laughs> what is this? What is that?" Anyway. Making your talk. <laughs> well, I mean, if oh, you don't talk, we will take the pics and we will put them out on the interwebs, and you will be bare asked. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait a minute. So I got yes. a I got a question for you, little missy. You're, you're sitting in a bar having a leisurely drink with your friend, right? Even a girl uh-huh. friend. And there's other people patronizing the establishment. It's not bolt dead, but it's not so packed that you can't visually see everybody in the room. Okay? Uh huh. Two guys walk in and show badges and say they're the FBI. What do you do? Um, you inspect them to make sure that they didn't come out of a gumball machine? <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying or not. Yeah. I mean, it dawns on me. I've been watching movies for years and years and years. Uh-huh. But never in my personal, you know, bar drinking extravaganzas on any in any country have I ever ran into undercover law enforcement that I was aware of. So, it started See, to, started to make me think yeah. about like the FBI, shit like that. What what if You know and I've been watching Warehouse 13. Have you ever watched that show? No, but I will make a note of it so I can check it out. It's kind of weird. And they're, they're secret service agents, but they go around the world collecting dangerous artifacts. 
Wow. And and putting them away in a great big old honker warehouse. It's, okay. It's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. But they have badges. Mm-hmm. And their badges are just a badge that says Secret Service on it. And I think, all righty, if I had someone come up to me with a badge like that and there was no photo ID or nothing like that, it was just a little badge that said Secret Service. No, 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 no. Say, well, what if, when, what, and how would you recognize a fake in this time and age with all the technology we all have at our fingertips? Okay. How could you possibly tell me that you would know a fake FBI from a real FBI from looking at a badge? I I wouldn't know. How how the hell would I know? I've never seen an FBI badge up to my face. How do I know what an FBI badge looks like? Well, you know, the way I look at it, if they're going to be flashing a badge, then by God, they better be flashing a photo ID as well. And I want to be able to inspect that bad boy to make sure that they didn't do the whole sealy thing. Yeah, but creating their own ID. Well, I I don't. I used to have a badge. It was it was a fake badge, hmm. but it was still. How how is a badge a fake badge? I mean, if it's a badge, <laughs> if it's physical, if it's tangible, it's a badge. Official, it I guess, just, recognized by oh. the group that claims to own the badge, dear. Ah. I think that's how this kind of initiation, you know, how we get trapped in the paperwork initiations and shit. Because so the magic badge has. Authorita behind Recognized it. by the public as a reality, right? But my question is, if mm-hmm. I'm sitting in a freaking bar and two guys walk in the freaking bar and say they're from the FBI, how the hell do I know they're from the FBI? What experience have I got in my life that I'm going to identify that as the truth, right? And but But on movies, good God, I've seen a thousand movies where... FBI, stop, or we'll shoot. Well, how do you know there? anybody could yell that? <laughs> FBI could stand for female body inspector. And oh, okay, if you've got but, an FBI um, coming up to you. Then I'm in trouble because I'm not yeah. a female. Anyway. But, yeah, but you got long, flowy hair. Oh, yeah. And if well, they see you from behind, no, you might go, no, hey. No, 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 no. <laughs> that I was, don't know. That was just me. Well, that's right. I fuck with you about your flail. <laughs> yeah, I I have no idea what. What? I have no idea what I would do other than go. Is that thing real? See, that's that okay. But on on movies and TV shows and all over the years, you've seen it and seen it and seen it and seen it. But when did it ever fucking happen to you? I don't even know people. Well. I know people that have been in political stuff through the internet, but not uh, not nose to nose. And I wasn't involved in the crap they got into, but they do exist, right? Mm-hmm. So we know that much, but it's so rare. So how do you know? What if we got a, a suspicious public? People are doing weird shit out there in the world. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Well. How do you know the real from the fraud? I mean, there's been times where people were th- thought they were getting pulled over by the police, and it was somebody pretending to be a police with a you know fancy light they got at a place and did them harm. Yeah. Okay, it's a rarity. It's not like every other day, like the cops shooting people. This is you know the bad guys, which is going to be way less than what the system puts out. They, and they can't stand the competition. They want that 10% back. <laughs> well, yes. yes. How you dare know? you? Yeah, well, the the criminal elements got to be stealing at least 10% of the wealth. That's available to all of us, right? And, and see, I think the only reason we have a freaking criminal element is because way back in the day, people got sold the idea that, you know... If you let them, this other people will start taking responsibility for your safety and, you know, be responsible for your actions. And then people start going, well, shit, if someone else is going to be responsible for it, I can do this crap. And that person over there will have to pay the price. So, I, yeah. okay, well, I guess what I'm getting at is in this world of instant information and all this technology at our fingertips, you know, the ability to copy and make things out of other things. You know, uh, they've got, what, those printers. 
Yeah, the three D printers. Yeah, Don was making solar. I remember teasing him about his solar panels, and but he was making them off the, uh, by himself off the three D printers. So I backed off. But uh huh. In the long run, any anything that we use right now, besides hemp, is going to be wasteful in the long run because it's going to uh, going to make waste where hemp will not make a waste to be cleaned up. It cleans shit up as it goes. But we have a big problem with all this last hundred years of being educated by these uh, psychopaths with money, you know? Yeah. Because we're, you know, we're pitted against each other in every freaking respect to uh, bow to the people that have more than you. They, they're they more successful. No, they're not. They're just fucking working. Ain't no different. Well, it depends on depends on how one measures success, number one. Millions. And is, millions is the most I've encountered other people having. I've met a few people that had millions. And they oh, I have too. They, they weren't very pleasant people, so I didn't really like to be in their company in the first place. See, and so to me, if someone someone can have all the money in the world, but if they're not pleasant, <laughs> excuse Whoa, me, pleasant to be around, yeah, then they're not a success to me. Because you know that's just like having a stamp collection. Ooh, look, I collected all of this money. I'm still an evil asshole, mm. but look at well, I collected all this money. But Mary, so look up to me, really? Does it, really? Do you feel comfortable in your your small rural area? You're comfortable. Uh-huh. You're, you know everybody, in, so you would know a stranger from a mile down the road, right? I mean, yeah. you're not to the point where you know everybody's car, but there's a lot of you, when you live somewhere for that amount of time, you get pretty familiar. And yeah, I, yeah, I've lived in a small place, you know, when I was younger for a little bit of time here, a little bit of time there for the most part, but the more familiar I got with things. Uh, I think the more curious I got about what was going on somewhere else. Hmm. Well, that that was yeah. my behavior towards learning things. kept me kept me interested to. I wonder what the hell they, they how did they do it over there? And I found out some really interesting things about like cotton. I had a buddy in Florida in my thirties. I met him when I was about thirty, and he was involved in this uh, investigation thing to clean up the filth of the cotton industry because the way that it manufactures cotton is filthy as fuck. And it's just a very dirty, filthy business. And that's one of the things they replaced hemp with, was fucking cotton. Yeah. See? So who gets fucked in the ass? All, well, maybe that's, I shouldn't even use that on the show, but, you know, financially, if you want to put it in terms of our comfort, or what's good for it? Where do you even begin with something that's so huge? And so few people even know what you're talking about in the first place. Well, and I guess a lot of people didn't. I didn't realize this until I did some reading up on it. Cotton is one of the uh, – it's also genetically modified. Wow. And wow. and it's got an awful lot of toxins you know, between herbicides and, yeah, and pesticides. At and one time it around. was. It, at one time it wasn't, I'm sure, right? At one time it was not. I also found out hmm. that yellow squash hmm. are genetically modified. And I, Blue you know, they're squash. summer squash. And I kind of like summer oh, yeah, squash. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, well, crap. I'm uh, not going to be planting that stuff anymore. Why? Because I don't want to be planting any damn... Genetically modified uh, nasty. Oh, oh, oh! On purpose. What if you did it on yeah. accident? Whoops. What would you? What would you do? What if you did it on accident? Like, uh, like the way it happened to the bigger farmers, where it blew onto their land, and well, you grew it. <laughs> Wait a minute. It yeah, blew yeah, onto my whole, land. <laughs> that whole cross pollinization thing. That that's how Monsanto got a hold of yeah. a lot of the yeah. neighboring crops, as they were saying that it was. Um, uh, violating their something something license, and and so therefore they could they could confiscate these crops. Now they haven't. It's taken umpteen zillion years to get through it. Um, last one I read about it took like ten years to get through the court process, and 
and Satan actually lost. But um, how does the farmer get their crop back? Because Monsatan's already confiscated their crop and and put it, you know, blended it in with their other shit. And so now, and now the farmer can't get that crop back. They can't. Although you can buy, you can buy um, seeds that are not genetically modified. But man, it's very cost prohibitive if you're wanting to do like a big farming operation. So, so how do you explain that if months? It's only Monsanto, or does that work for everybody? No, Mons- Monsanto is the biggie, and okay. actually, Monsanto is kind of like the parent company. There's an awful lot of companies out there that sell seeds, yeah. but if you track them back far enough, you can find. <coughs> Excuse me, mm. they're all connected to Monsanto. Hey, and, do, you uh, think now, that, do you think that Monsanto writes their judges off as uh, dependencies on their income tax reports? Oh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> they, either, they either write them off or they that way or they write them off like okay. Epstein didn't kill himself. So I'll use Monsanto. I'm writing the notes for it. So if Monsanto seeds blow in your fields, that's a, it's a, well, it's an interesting point. Yeah, but it's the seeds don't necessarily blow over, but they well, do cross pollinate. But what I wonder about, truly wonder about, and there's not a lot of folks listening to what we talk about, but out of the people that do, how many of them know the details behind what we're talking about? Because Monsanto actually got judges to agree with them about the most ignorant fucking things that they were out of well, man's control. It was nature doing what nature does, and but they patented. They also got yeah. They also got the FDA and the USDA and, and every uh, freaking crooked gang in the world. Yeah, all those alphabet soup agencies and. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a tickle. You can thank Rummy for that, Rumsfeld, because Rumsfeld was the one that was on the the board at the time. Um, Department of Ag, I think is what it was, oh. where they did the approval process yeah. for Monsanto's first um, Frankenfood crop. Mm. So, you know, and then Rummy went back to work for Monsanto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does he think? I mean, come on. This is, a, it's a gang, and people think they're voting. Uh-huh. This is so ridiculous. I mean, I've got to read this crap on the interwebs, right? Or not look at the interwebs because people believe this stuff is real. And it's so, it's real to the person that believes it's real. To me, it's not real because I don't believe it. There you go. But the one that I'm living amongst, that one, apparently, they think it's real. (laughs) So I'm back and I'm always stuck in the same walk of life I've always walked in because Part of me just doesn't take this shit seriously enough. And it gave me a wicked sense of humor, too, on top of it all. What is seriously enough? Mm. To the point of caring about other people's feelings as a priority. Because I care about other people's feelings about 70% of the time. Maybe. Maybe not even that. Maybe more like 60 or even 50. But... The times where I don't pay attention and I don't care. <laughs> oh man, see, it's it's a matter of what we're uh, what we're willing to do or not do. And I'm not sometimes willing enough to pay attention and do certain things a certain way. Uh, I just blah say what's on my fucking mind at the moment for no particular reason. And you're always going to piss somebody off when you do that. <laughs> Okay, works. I got to respond to Prince here. Uh oh, Prince wait, said going that the to problem the is that we don't really have the ability to discern between genetically modified and naturally bred plants. Um, one takes a long time; the other is like breeding dogs for a preferred trait. Which technically, hybrid plants are the ones that you are breeding for a preferred trait. Genetically modified, they, the definition of a genetically modified anything is to put 
genetic material in there that there is no way that could happen in nature, like putting frog DNA inside of corn, which they, you know, that's part of the genetically modified is putting different critter DNA inside the corn, whereas hybridization is when you take multiple kinds of corn plants and you cross-pollinate them to the point where you get the the preferred crop or the preferred seed that you wish. They do that with tom they do that with all kinds of plants. I I know a lot of like tomatoes and peppers and that kind of stuff, but you can also get the heirloom seeds. But like I said, heirloom seeds are more expensive. And heirloom seeds, uh, the way you can tell an heirloom seed from a hybrid seed or a genetically modified seed is they actually, if you wish to belive it, that means you have to have faith that this person is not fibbing to you. They have the um, um, family tree, if you will, <laughs> pun intended, apparently, of, you know, they have the the genetic lineage of how far back this particular seed goes. But the, nothing is in a in a vacuum. And so... You know, you can you can grow these heirloom seeds, and yet if you have someone that's within the same area as you, and like out here in northwest Boonies, Kansas, where the wind blows all the time, you know, you have that chance of cross-pollinization. And cross-pollinization means that you have two different kinds of the same plant that are interbreeding. Now, the other way that you can tell with a genetically modified is, you know, if you were to save seeds from a genetically modified plant and plant them the next year, you might be able to, they might grow, especially if you don't do the whole roundup or whatever that they're genetically modified to tolerate. Yeah, well, Mary. But they, they will grow the next year, but then the year after that, mm. But he Odds goes are you're on. going to have an awful lot of sterile seed. He goes on to say, yeah, but it's all the same once it reaches the table. That's what I mean. And I disagree, yeah, I disagree with him. Altogether. Yeah, I disagree with him that it's all the same. The results are different. My body knows when I'm eating a, a better quality of food. Because I, I snack on chips and shits a little bit here and there. I'm not completely tamed. You know, I'm not going to live forever. I'm just going to Oh, I'm try not to, going to either. Yeah, I'm just trying to take care of the carcass for, you know, as best I can. You know, what I, what can you expect? And all my fingers and toes are still functioning, so I win. Yes. But I give the credit to uh the food that I take in. Cuz I I was a little ill a few years back. Yeah. Well, once yeah, you started and, making vegetables uh, and a certain type, you know, an organic, not a, not, they give you a choice here. Take your chances or organic. And, yet organic yeah. isn't necessarily, of course, over there in the, in Europe, it may be a lot better regulated, but over here in the United States. Yeah. And then nah. they're, they're kind of fussy about who they are. Uh, do trade with on that kind of international level. Like, there's no American goods where I live. Nothing. Well, can you blame them? No, but they've got the... Ah, it's the expense of freight. It's got nothing... And it's such a small place, there'd be no market for it. It couldn't compete. So, you know, they, they've... Pri they've what, I guess they fantasize their way out of markets. And they've, they've made this hole that we're in this financial crap that they play. They've made it so deep that, ah, you can't do anything any fucking way. Why pretend? Because when I was a kid, you could grow up and become the president of the United States. And then when I was an old man, they put some broken down black fag in there and proved it. Then I left the country and now they got a orange haired fellow that used to be a game show host running the country. It's like, wow, does the comedy never end? Well, 
And in a quirky, weird sort of way, it's actually a little bit more honest. Because you had a rea- now you have a reality TV star <laughs> supposedly running the show, <laughs> and he's not. He ain't running anything. But it's reality TV. That's all this shit is. Now, all it's this all for your entertainment. All this boils down to financially is that the wealthy people don't pay for the shit that they should pay for. <laughs> they should either pay for it or abandon it and stop pretending because this is ridiculous. They're they're paying. Trillions of freaking dollars on a on interest on a debt. I mean, or billions, hundreds of billions in interest, so that the capital never gets touched. And this is progressive. This is going to go on forever. We're already so far behind that they can't yeah, keep but up. They're really not even paying. No, it's a big performance. There you go. But see, when it hits the public and the rich start shaking, then they got to find some new bullshit story to tell us. So they can give these trillionaires and billionaires more fucking money instead of collapsing this crap. Uh, what yeah. do you do if they collapse it? You got freaking hackers and people that know how to. I, I know electricians. For crying out loud, this, they can't control all of us, but they can control enough of us to make the enough of us think that they're the majority. When they're really not, they're, there's like, I don't know, three or four people that are in the chat room regularly who are obviously not about living in liberty. <laughs> they they think liberty is me telling you what the fuck to do. That's liberty, stupid. And I tend to disagree with that mental you know, philosophy, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, sure do, Vern. Now, I like the live and let live thing. That's how I really do. You know, except nose to nose, I'm a little combative. But, you know, with people I encounter in public and so on, I've got a great reputation as far as I could tell. People are friendly to me. And uh, I'm friendly back and we get along. There you go. Now, who could ask for more than that? Huh. You know, those that you deal with on a daily basis, yes, it's wonderful to have them. Well, be able and, to have a friendly. And uh, it, sometimes in line, people they they hear me in, you know, saying something, and uh, you can see them smile a little bit. And other people, you can see them go, "They're good fucking fucking American." <laughs> not all yeah. the time. It's not every freaking day. Like if I was in America, there'd be somebody I'd encounter every day that didn't like me, and it'd be a different person every time. Here, it's once in a blue moon. Yeah. Because that's life. You know, not, if you get 100%, something's wrong with you. You are broken. You're not doing it enough. And it's like the less you do something, the higher the percentage of it working is. <laughs> you want to find out what you're made of, go out there and do it every day for a year. See how, <laughs> see how your numbers hold up then. <laughs> but, ah. Ah. Can you imagine if uh, the politicians didn't have the ability to lie? What if there was like a, a drug, like maybe cannabis, say, you know, for example, that they could, uh, you know, have some brownies and eat or the brownies. Or just have it piped in. No, 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 no. Let's make it enjoyable. See, the brownie. Oh. It could be enjoyable. Uh, brownies. Hey, don't. You're killing my story here. But but what if what if brownies, you know, what if they're uh. diabetic? Or what if well, they'll make non-diabetic uh, weed brownies <laughs> for Senator fucking pussy balls. That's what they'll do. <laughs> when they got a fucking senator that's sitting in a public office that's so unhealthy that he can't eat a fucking brownie? What? Okay, we got people in Senate and Congress that can't even freaking balance their own checkbook, let alone somebody else's checkbook. So. They, they commit murder every day to other people. Their hands are bloody. And they have been, and they always, and they always will be. And and here's yeah. and here's this poor, my my outlook on it. I mean, it's kind of uppity, but I look on the public with a kind of a sympathetic, oh, you poor little thing, you. If you only were old enough to understand, and sadly, that's what I've become in my old age. Ah, 
Old enough to understand. <laughs> uh, yeah, old enough to understand that other people don't, and most of them could give a flying raccoon. And all I got to do to be sure of that is remember me when I was them. And you can ah. do at at sixty; it's easy to do. I see a little child, and you know I can remember like back when I was little, not too little, but just young. And life was different then because you haven't been, you know, uh, disappointed yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The innocence of a child and all like that. But we got this fucked up system that makes sure that you don't get to enjoy your childhood. And you know what they fucking called it? What? Public education. And that leads right into that little meme that Grimner just shared from Minds. Oh. Before we work on artificial intelligence, why don't we do something about natural stupidity? You know what the difference is between artificial intelligence and natural stupidity? Um, a 20, diploma. Seven fifty. Oh, okay. I was close. A diploma. A diploma. Well, Look, hmm. I got a diploma from a college, hmm. so now I'm no longer naturally stupid. I'm artificially intelligent because I, I think I am. I got Therefore, a, I am. I got a Canon 400 printer. I can make all the documents I want. <laughs> wow. Well, hmm. yeah, I'm I can, telling you, I can do that crap too, I, and I can go up and tell people, "Hey, hmm. I know shit." Yeah, but I mentioned this. So? I think it was to Vinny. Back when the copiers were just coming out with color, it was beautiful. It was back in like the mid eighties, eighty seven, somewhere in there. And it were I was in this business where I I was aware they existed. And wow, color copiers. And right about that period of time, somebody had stolen some kind of Canon copy machine from a twenty four hour place. And they, they finally caught up to them. They were print, in the process of printing counterfeit bills with, <laughs> with a can. Yeah. Wow. Okay, wait. But look at look what your con- computer can do. And look at all these like people like Grimner and, and uh, Cowboy Tech and the other guys in the chat, Rob Works and uh, Romes. All these guys that talk all this computer stuff that could you know tweak a little bit here and tweak a little bit there. And print stuff that looks just like the real stuff. Because mm-hmm. you have the equipment to do it and the technology, and it's everywhere. Yeah. Well, then how come there's not a glut of it? <coughs> I can't Have remember I- the the last time I heard anybody trying to pass counterfeit money. It was a kid at a, at a public school paying for their lunch with a $2 bill, and the damn counter clerk didn't know what a $2 bill was real. Called the police yeah. on a child over a freaking two dollar bill. How? What kind of fucked up world do we live in now? <laughs> I mean, I call the police. The police. Hello. Yeah. To arrest a child. A child. A child. Oh, they're doing that all the time now, but it's for stupid stuff, you know, like bringing a plastic knife in your lunchbox. But no kind wait, of shit. Arresting, handcuffs, jail, for children. Yeah. Yeah, they do it. Well, it, it sounds common. Like, wow, nobody gives a shit. It's for their own good. Fuck you. you know, keep well, your fucking hands public, off my as kid. As Moosey put it, the public education system is nothing more than either preparing you for the workforce or the prison system. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to call this particular part of the epic saga Flash Rains. But I do have a real interesting, to me, an interesting thing I want to talk about. Okay. Well, I don't know if you're going to want to talk about it, but I, that's why you're the hostage. I'm going to make you. Okay. Are you sitting down? Yeah. Still smoking? No. Oh, okay. Have a care. I have a, a lozenge because okay. I have a all the dirt in the air. I have a tickle in my throat. Oh, well, then I was going to say have a carrot, but that's a bad idea if you got a lozenge. Anyway. Well, be Fra- too noisy for me to be on the radio. Fractional reserve banking. Okay. See, now, any time you put fractions in something, mm-hmm. my brain starts smoking. Really? Is that because like a red flag or what? Well, I didn't like messing with fractions to start with. 
in math. That's one of the few things with math. math I, I hated geometry. Of course, I think part of that was because I totally detested my teacher. But you start throwing fractions in there and stuff, and it's like, oh, man. And then you have to combine them down, and then you have to find the common denominator, and then you have to do this. And so I really think they call it fractional reserve banking just for that purpose because there's an awful lot of people that once you say fraction, their eyes glaze over. Wow. Now, mine don't glaze over. I just kind of go, oh, this just totally sucks. Hmm. But there's a lot of people out there that you say the word fraction and their eyes glaze over. Okay. They well, say, I said a little bit more than fraction. They're a little messy. I know, but okay. then you got reserve and banking. So you've got oh. three trigger words yeah. all right there. Well, just How remember. How many people keep anything back from their reserve? Seven. Seriously. Seven. You know, There's but seven people. if the Jews win the war for your freedom, I'm going to be a Jew. But if they lose, I'm going to I'm going to claim I'm Mexican. What do you think? Think I can pull it off? Is that rather reserved way of looking at things, or is that well, a CYA moment? I'm, no, this is yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm being Billy Idol with that. There you go. Sure, because you know when when they fucking caught him down in. In uh, Washington Square in '86, right, <laughs> and and he's going through the park, and they want to check him for coke. He dumps the coke off on the girl. So when they when the cops search the the girl, they get the girl and not him. It's like, wow, you brick. Ah, that was cold. That just yeah, that ooh. was. Because I mean, if you're a guy, okay, this has nothing to do with drugs. You just got to think about. It. If you're a guy, a wealthy guy out in the park with a girl, why does she have all the goodies and you don't? Hmm. You know, it eh, doesn't seem to make sense to me. Well, it's, I think it all goes back to that whole someone else convincing. Have you ever really taken... a tipping point. But did you ever take a good look at Billy Idol? Without the coke, he might have had to go back to the you know the bass player. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, I, my little sister thought Billy um, Idol was all that. I, I thought was, he was being sarcastic. Okay, I didn't. Yeah, I, I liked his. I, I liked some of the music he made was fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. There's musicians that stand out to me now that like to the today the stuff people like just doesn't compare to. And I'm old, so I earned that that way to look at history. There for, you go. For me, yeah. But I'm prepared for. Uh, opposition but i don't give a shit it's my opinion there you there go, you go. Ah, you see, ah, that what? grimmy said it's what? not fractional reserve because there is no reserve it's fictional reserve which i actually like that okay better, well he's be, i like fiction okay and he's being um very amusing i appreciate the sarcasm there sir but the reality of it, i mean oh, man. the reality I'm, is it's fictional <laughs> yeah well yes okay so he yeah but I, I just, it's all a fiction. Well, I know and they're that. telling you it's reality. Once for, again, for an one example all. of the topsy turvy world. Well, right, but there's people that are are in that belief system, that game, that uh, po politics crap that they really believe is happening, right? But they're in it, and they're they're think that if you're not in it too, there's something wrong with you. And I have quite the opposite look on that. I think if you're too weak to stand alone, then take your army and go away. Oh, I ain't got time for that. You know, so they always fall back on, you know, well, you'll be invaded. Yeah, okay, we'll see. There's nothing to invade where I live. So good luck, but have fun. <laughs> mm. But yeah, but it made it look like you're making a joke out of a very serious topic here on the dork table, mister. <laughs> you know how serious I am. Especially about fucking money. Yeah. The second yeah. biggest joke in life is, is finance. The first one is how they hurt us with these fucking religions. How can people be so naive? You're different than them, but you do the same thing, but just different days of the week. You look in a different direction you hold your balls thusly and give me your wallet. 
There's religion. What? No, I think I'd do better without it. What do you think? Uh, I don't care for anything that tells me, okay, this is the way you have to believe. Really? Really? You got a piece of paper that tells me I have to believe this way. Mm. You got you got a piece of paper that tells me I have to dress mm. this way. You, you tell you have a piece of paper that tells me I have to behave this way. Well, do you believe or, in something or, or not? Or I'm not going to get into that gated community after <laughs> I die. Yeah, but you believe in something or nothing? Oh, I I believe that we're all connected. I believe that okay, there is something. But whatever it is, is something. we've never been told what it is because nobody knows what it is. But well, I don't I uh, don't know that hey, it is knowable, hey, at least right, not in okay. the human experience. Hey, we're agreeing on a topic here. Hmm. Well, I agree yeah. with you on this. Yeah, because how could it be the same for you as it is for me, way the hell, you know, thousands of miles away from you? Telling you right up front, I don't agree with what you believe. Already know it. And you know that. See, and that, I think that's why I really enjoyed the movie What Dreams May Come, because yeah. part of the, part of the little message in there is that the afterlife is oh. individual. Oh, yeah. It's it's different for each individual. Snuffles, well, that's you know, enough. Just like daily life is similar to other people's, you know, your daily existence is not all that unique. You may have a job that's better than somebody else or a better car, but your daily just breathing in and out crap, you're just another yeah. face. Well, some people think they're really special. It's very I'm going to let you carry it for a bit. Yeah. I'm going to put her out oh. because apparently okay. there's a butterfly farting somewhere. Okay. And, and she we'll needs to let it know that that's rude. So okay. I'll be right back. We're going to fill the time when Mary's gone with slogans for T-shirts. And uh, you can submit your requests to me, Flash, at reallibertymedia.com chat. And I might even put it in the notes. But slogans for t-shirts like, end the Fed, but I want to see Trump wear it. <laughs> can you see Trump in an end the Fed shirt? <laughs> that would be hysterical. <laughs> because I don't think I've ever seen a picture of him. That he wasn't in a suit and tie. So that would be great. I I want hmm. now I'm gonna probably get bombarded with people sending me pictures of shit, you know, Trump wearing a in the Fed shirt. Hmm. What other slogans would be good? What would sell? Hmm. Okay, I'm back. Hey. I came up with a slogan for a T shirt. Okay. In the Fed, but I, I want to see Donald Trump wear it. That would be cool. Wouldn't it? That would be cool. How, I wonder how that would be like psychotic. That He could probably get away with it too. Because his supporters would find ways to explain what he really meant by doing that. <laughs> Cause he's well, the, he's, he, he's already <laughs> alluded to ending the Fed. And I, there's an awful lot. Okay. <laughs> I got to put this out there. <laughs> I do not believe mm -hmm. everything on the interwebs. I got to put that out there. I do not believe everything CODIS says. I do happen to agree with a few of the things that that individual that's currently occupying that position mm -hmm. says. Oh. But that does not mean mm -hmm. that I believe Ooh. that any change. Okay. Don't Unless hurt me. I do something. So, Promise but I do th I do think hurt. the Trump Stilskin has alluded to that a time or two ending wow. the Fed. Yeah, but how okay, think of being one of his, you know, minions. How would that interpret into your minion little Trump follower brain? You would hear it differently. You would think somehow that that separates him from the Fed, when, no, it's one big ball of shit, and it all needs to go, a way o. But what would we replace it with? And the fear of that is more, it's more frightening than what the fuck is in there killing us off, like lab rats. Yes, yes. Wow. It is the fear of 
the unknown that controls people. Hey, period. Did you ever see the movie Hook? Because I want to yes. steal a Robin Williams joke from it. He says okay. he's a, he's a law, he plays a lawyer in Hook, and there you go. And he's giving a uh -huh. speech, and, and his grandma's thing him a bobber, and he says, "Well." Uh, they're going to stop using uh, rats in laboratory experiments, and you, they're going to use lawyers. And they're get, that's for two reasons. One is the, the the doctors don't get so personally attached, and number two is there's even shit rats won't do. Yeah. So wow, but this isn't a child. A children. He didn't say shit. He said there's even things rats won't do. It was clean, yeah. but it was delivered. In such an open fashion that, to, you know, this was like a 30 years ago or 20 years ago. They made probably 30. They made that movie over 30. So it's been in the public eye as a, like a joke, Robin Williams gag all along. But notice the yeah, but lack why of. Why do you think Robin Williams died? That's what it's bringing <laughs> up. Look at the lack of Robin Williams we have today. And he was my age, give or take, maybe a year or two. I he's might have been older than older, him. Because uh, okay. he's older than me. Okay. All right. But yeah, I, so I lived in the neighborhood in San Francisco where he lived. And in the 80s, people were still talking about the crazy shit he would do on Clement Street. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I, th I think he was just – he had one of those minds that – I mean, if you ever watched any interviews with him – Good Lord. I okay, mean, they well, were better than stand-up comedy because he had the kind of mind that would just take something and run. Okay, safe to say he was a very wealthy man, too, wasn't it? Uh, well, he had some ex-wives, so I don't know how wealthy he was. Oh, all right. But still, over <laughs> his freaking career, he, he did he some huge lot, freaking yeah. shit. All right. So, I would say, I would take a guess. That if a wealthy man wanted to vanish in, in the world, it wouldn't be as hard to do as you think. Oh, no. There are plenty of places where people can go and just be invisible. But because of this celebrity shit, you think everybody knows who he was. And no, uh, you'd be amazed how many foreign people have no idea, never seen him. Foreign to the U.S., yeah. Foreign to England, you know, England and the U.S. think they're the the nucleus of society and you know what everybody wants to be, and it's not true. It's the far farthest from the truth. It's embarrassing how untrue it is. Outside of the English speaking world, he probably could get away with just blending in. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is I I get a lot of attention more because I have a lot of hair than anything else. It's and I'm small, but outside well, you know, of that, it's not every day you see a gnome walking around the streets. Well, so. it's it's just not long <laughs> hair. Long hair on, on men is not popular. It's a long gone. People people conform. They cut their hair here. It's society, you know, you got a job, you got to work, you got to you know stay neat and clean and all that kind of crap, or you can't go on in life. It's not it's not the eighties anymore where, you know, uh, Keith is traveling. Yeah. Well that's the era basically that I really come from is that that freedom of however you I dress how I fucking like. If you don't like it, don't look. Not give a fuck what they really said. It's just hey, get out of my face and you crap. Yeah. Go go find somebody to talk to. You are obviously lonely. <laughs> but Outside of that, no, I didn't give a shit. Just to say something, to, to not be a pussy and you know, take somebody's ridicule, but to really be a part of it, nah, I didn't give a fuck. Just clothes. Yeah. yeah. That's all well, it is. You know, uh, appearances are so fucking misleading, people. My God, if you haven't, look at the Ted Bundy story sometime and think this through clearly and wonder if there ever was really a Ted Bundy. Because the story doesn't match the, the crimes in any fucking way. Yeah. It's more like the, you know, the secret life of Ted Kennedy or, uh, you know, Bobby Kennedy. But because they were womanizers. Don't know if they ever went as far as murder or not. But, hey, 
Why not? When you're a billionaire, what the fuck? What do you got left to lose? Start playing with life in ways you shouldn't. Hey, I think I'm going to buy some Monsanto stock and kill off some farmers. Don't yeah. fool yourself. There are people in this fucking world in positions of power that make decisions based on their personal greed. Who they like and who they don't like. We get rid of you. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Think of how cheap There's... life is. They got Kennedys. Kennedys were rich people. Deep rooted. Yeah. Went back to the you know the bootleg days of the early 1900s. They were bigwigs in this shit. Look what they're all dead. They even got the grandkids. Well, except Robert. Robert's kind of weird. And you know, I listened to a video the other day. It was a testimonial of a, a, a psychoanalyst or psychotherapist or whatever. But he has written several books on um, what they're doing to people. You know, the the psychologists and the the brain doctors and shit. True. And true. He I, says, I realize he says that. in that video that Rose Kennedy was lobotomized. Ouch. But, I mean, that's not his exact words, but that's essentially what they did to her. Okay, but all what I do have against Kennedy, there's a reason I'm not completely for him. And that is, he's not against the inoculations. He's against the inoculation packaging. So, uh, no, uh, he's still for doing this crap to us as a well, It doesn't I think- work. It only if works I've, to hurt people. If I understand him correctly, he's not anti-vaccine because he realizes that there are medicinal properties that can be done See? in that manner. Yeah, but yeah. he is Ooh. anti-mandatory yeah. vaccine Same and thing. he is anti-you-must-do-this-without-any-kind-of-testing-and-with-big-pharma-not-having-any-culpability. It's just an excuse to stand on a fence politically, if you ask me. He says both things at the same time like a politician. Please, Miss Mary. See, now, can you not see you? Just, just because I can see what he's saying doesn't mean I agree with him. I don't like vaccines, period. But Mary, I it's for the, the children. World, I know it's for the children. But you know what? If you actually stop and learn for yourself, oh, yeah. there I go, expecting you to be responsible for yourself and your family again. Yeah. But if you learn for yourself hmm. what to feed your children, yep. how yeah. to treat them, wow. If they do have something adverse happen to yeah. them, yeah. as opposed to going to someone with the special magic white coat mm. and the magic little thing that hangs around that wonderful little necklace that if you put it in your put part of it in your ears and put part of it on your chest, you can hear somebody's heartbeat. Do you know that? You know, you can buy these little kits at, in the toy aisle at Walmart mm. that have little plastic stethoscopes and those <laughs> work, too. Hey, you know what I heard? <laughs> Go figure. But, you know, taking a little bit of poisonal responsibility and learning how to feed yourself and how to take care of yourself (laughs) as opposed to, you know, expecting someone else has got a special magic juju shit going on because they got a piece of paper that says, I am now artificially intelligent. (laughs) Uh. (laughs) I know. Rant. Rant, uh, rant. Uh, are you are you happy now? <laughs> I am happy now. And Moosey, it's not necessarily the leaves I want to rake up. It's the damn locust tree seed pods that I want to get raked up. Those things, if yeah, you don't rake dude. them up, then you get more locust trees. And they're the thorny ones, not the thornless ones. I don't want more of those. So, yeah, i got to rake those up. Different climate, though. You're going to get a different ecosystem. Yes. Because we have our ecosystem here as well, Miss Mary. And it breeds a different kind of uh, problem. Like, one thing I've always noticed wherever I've lived, tons of mosquitoes. And here, I don't, they don't like me or something. They, they might not like my Jew Mexican mixed blood. They prefer to chomp on the white people. Do you get enough potassium in your diet? Because that could possibly be it. Because they, oh, they tend they to stay like, away from people that have high potassium levels. Yeah, and I, I live on bananas and avocados. Well, I don't live oh, on yeah. them, but I add them to the diet every chance I get. So, well, there you go. Yeah. 
Cirque went, Cirque went to the city uh, before the radio po- program, a couple day before that. You got uh-huh. the traffic thing. Oh, geez. You've been on the trains in a major city. Things were just going wrong. And uh, she decided to stay with her sisters. So she goes to her sisters. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, she comes home and decides she wants to do the radio with you out of nowhere. Never heard a word of it. All I've ever heard her say is, I wouldn't do the radio. I ain't doing the radio. I ain't doing the radio. And here and now, guess what? I was sitting here last night. You know what I heard? What? I heard her doing the radio with you. <laughs> but I haven't heard <laughs> I haven't heard your half of the show. I only heard her half. So I'm going to listen to the uh, complete show after the show tonight. Ah, there you go. Because I got headphones and I can do that. Privy of yeah. my own boudoir, baby. That's right. Yeah. Freedom. You have technology. Yeah, but I got freedom. I can. I'm as free as I can throw this computer. Let's see, there you go. You're as free as you can throw the. I don't. Do you really want to throw your computer? I don't know. It was just a per to be way to put it. See why? Why is everybody so stuck on semantics? Wow. Can't a man just say shit that doesn't really mean anything on the radio every now and again? <laughs> See, that's that's what I'm really used to in life is not being taken seriously. So here I am, and all of a sudden, everything I say is serious. Wow, what happened? Did I bump my head? <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what went wrong. Did you bump your head? Did it hurt? I don't remember. Is it going to leave a mark? I must have amnesia. (laughs) I don't know who I am. I don't remember anything. Ah. Hey, that would be cool. I wonder if I could pull that off. I have amnesia, and I don't know who you are or who I am. (laughs) What? What? I I was looking up a... Uh oh. Are you gonna link us? Oh yeah, but see I hey, wait, wait, wait. I was still stuck. That's not- you went stray on me and I went stray on you back. But fractional reserve banking practices uh-huh. are the core of our joint illusion problem. This country believes this mess that the politicians present to us is our mess as a collective. We the people bullshit. Ain't got nothing to do with any of you. They don't weigh your vote in or your voice in on any of the decisions that are made. You're just being used to, as an excuse to sit there and hold power and abuse you. And as you have seen in the chat, some people are just, they're, uh, they've are they been indoctrinated into the fold. And they're, GMOs in the food, eh, I'll eat it, don't matter to me. And I'm from the generation two before that, I think two before that, right? 60s. What which generation would I be? I'm a baby boomer, I think. 59 I was born. So, what generation are we? Cuz you're like a year. Uh old. baby boomers. Yeah, so we're baby boomers, right? Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. And here we are all these years later and we and and I see the the uh, distinct differences between people's behavior in blocks of 20 years. Ah, just a sec. I got to I got to send this to Moosey. I was judging the world as I see, see it. See how you are. That's because I'm the judge. Hmm. Wow. Okay. The dogs are barking. I don't know. Moose is having a barking thing going on. Hmm. Oh, no, we were. No. Oh, driving there we go. I'm the... I'm sending pictures. Ah, you. Crazy broad. I think I will open them and see what they are, should I? Will I be shocked and appalled at your pictures? Hmm, hmm, hmm? Uh, no. Okay. Then I will open them with both eyes open and wearing my glasses. Oh, my God. Those are unattractive. Yeah. Wow. Gazira would be in trouble to fight that. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Poor Gazira. They are... They're, it's a very hard wood, but oh, oh yeah. my God, yeah. you really got to be careful. I mean, we went along and we tried to get as many of the thorns as we could down low so that I don't get yeah. in anymore when I mow. Well, what if they but, fall? 
from the tree. Yeah, when they fall and yeah. you're walking around barefoot like I have a tendency no. to do. No. Well, great. You know, you could always go where they don't fall, dear barefoot. Well, we call it yeah. being responsible <laughs> for yourself. It's called yeah. thinking ahead in areas of life that you don't give a fuck about. But if you like your toes, we recommend that you look into the future and look where you're going. Enjoy the view. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh, see, people assume because of my tales of travel that I just blindly follow the follow the bubble or whatever. But no, it's not that. It's not that insane. It's different than that. It's more like events will take place and somebody will be somewhere I'm not, so I'll go there. <laughs> and once I get there, it's like, wow, this is pretty cool. There you go. There you go. Yeah. We've got six years of um, Denmark going on here. Sweet. And as time goes on, I do understand certain things people say. I mean, I but saying it back the way they say it, nah. I know better, but they they know, so it's not a problem. And still to the day, the kids down at the grocery store, they like to get me as their customer so they can practice their damn English. Ah. Yeah. Okay, one, one guy, he's about 30. He's a cripple guy. He's got a bad leg. And, but he's mm-hmm. real friendly. He's real nice. Been there for years and years. And uh, still, he likes it when I come through his line so he can practice in it. Show off that he can speak English, you know, because that's it's not only it's not only a bad thing to speak English, but you know, in some places it's like, wow, you can speak English, cool, yeah, yeah. And then some people look at it, oh, you fucking American, blah, 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 blah. It's just so fucking rare. I hear more of it on the internet than I do in person. I hear more of anything on the internet than I do. In person, yeah, pretty that, much. well, except for the nice stuff, because like search is kind of nice for the most part, hey. you know. <laughs> <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> well, you know, she does other stuff besides just talk to me and crying out loud. It's, it's a, yeah. it, you know, see, my perspective of this whole fucking thing is communicating is really the problem. <laughs> it's not the solution to shit. The solution is way deeper than fucking words can ever explain to another human. Another carbon-based life form has her own personal interpretation, so there's really no reason to agree in the first place. But we are taught that if you disagree, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> so, so society has made these invisible barriers out of words. They believe the world's round. This group believes the world's flat. Fight, not negotiate. Or you know, why do you believe this crazy freaking thousand miles an hour spinning on a ball crap? To me, it's like a bedtime story for a kid. Gee, well, do, I think that's what a lot of it is. Do fish have ears, Dad? Bedtime stories, right? But I mean, for a grown human life form to be on this thing that we're on. And without any personal investigation to prove any fucking thing and pictures to back it up, they make these freaking idiotic statements. And it just goes on and on forever. And now we got the internet so we can do it faster. <laughs> you can do it faster and you can do it impersonally. <laughs> and they think I'm crazy. The opposition to my opinion about this thing that we do, they call life, that you know, if it wasn't for the slavery and the mistreatment by authority, wow, life would be kind of nice. And yet all of that fun stuff came around because somewhere along the line, somebody thought someone else should have authority over me. Okay. They they are by birth mm. or they are by selection. Now have power over me. I don't think so. <laughs> Just because you don't think so, it's not going to stop anything. True. So you got to believe but if it. I don't behave in a yeah, way that there you allows go. them to do such things. Because, quite frankly, what you allow will continue and get worse. Mm. That's the way allowing 
or maybe not worse, but what you allow will continue and you will have more of it. So if you allow someone to come up and give you hugs, then it will continue and you'll get more of them because you allowed it to happen. But if you allow someone to come up and smack you upside the head and you allow it to continue, it's you're going to get it more often. That's what happens with allowing things to happen in your world. Mm -hmm. If you don't want those things happening in your world, don't allow it. True. I know. That's overly simplified. No, it's but. not, because most of this shit is some kind of freaking mental wavelength that you can get in and out of at will, if you know you can. just happens to be... We're, we're, hmm. I think we're just kind of narrow-minded, and when you're in a mood, you go with the mood, and you forget all the fucking things that you know to not go there. And to not go there at that moment doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck. I'm going there anyway. And we all do it. I do it. You do it. It's life. But how do mm -hmm. you... Okay. Well, that means that it leaves you the indication that somebody's right and somebody's wrong when nobody's fucking right or wrong. Got nothing to do with it. But we were raised in these ways to judge the past and carry it around. Throw it at you. I was. Okay. The, pa I, the I past... Was. Oh, yeah. Sure, I could do that. See, and I, I'm kind of, I'm in, I'm still kind of sort of trying to contemplate that one because the past, you know, there's an awful lot of people that I think, okay, let's give them a little bit of a break because maybe they're trying, maybe they're really trying to change, you know, and improve themselves or whatever. And yet when you see them continually doing the uh, same uh, thing uh. over and over and over again, it's <laughs> like, okay, can you judge people by their past? I think you have to take their current and include that in there. You know, yes, you can get a, a, a starting point from their past, but you also see what their current behavior is as well. If their current behavior is still the same as it was in the past, then hell yeah. Apparently they haven't moved from their past. They are still carrying that baggage and still doing the same shit. But there are some people that in the past, I know I've done things in my past that weren't necessarily the nicest thing Ooh, in the world. You dirty to do. girl. Uh -oh. Everybody's done something, at least one or two things where it's like, oh, good Lord. Did I really, I really did that. I really, damn. But I try not to do that again. Yeah. So I'm yeah, trying to yeah. not be the person that did that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But so, and some of these people, I'm still giving them a little bit of rope. Whether they hang themselves is up to them. Yeah. But I'm giving them a little rope because perhaps they were that kind of person in the past. I'm trying to see if they're still that kind of person now. If they are, then they just hung themselves with the rope I gave them. You optimist. If they aren't, then. Great. We'll go play jump rope. You're optimistic. I, I'm hopefully optimistic. You're as optimistic as a new homeowner. Ah. Well, yeah, a new homeowner. And then you find out, oh, by the way, the furnace just went out. Oh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> then you go, yeah. this homeowning shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. But... Well, I don't know. Me and Sark have been very fortunate in the repair department on the premises so far. So, eh. But uh, she prefers living inside over living outside. And I don't blame her. It's kind of chilly out here in the winter times. So, hmm, we had to compromise. Yeah. Go figure well, the nerve. See. Indoor plumbing. Go uh, fancy schmancy these Danish ladies. I'm telling you. I uh, know. Yeah. Well, you know, there is something quite, quite um, appealing about not freezing to the toilet seat. So, oh yeah, there's always that, and there's clean pots and pans to cook and you know, cook, yeah, to cook in all those little uh, things that life has made so easy for us over the last hundred years, and then you got all this high technology shit that's doing some kind of freaking damage, but. It's well, that's because it's artificial intelligence. It's not People, a, oh, I saw it on the internet, so it must be true. <laughs> AI alert, artificial intelligence working over there. It's not apparent to the public yet. Not enough of them. 
There's some people no. have noticed, but for the most part, faster, quicker, you know, tuned in, plugged in, whatever the fuck it is, this century or this generation, we had ours. The next generation had something else. The one after it had something else. This this time it's like, hmm, 5G coming. Strap in to your you know, radiation suit. We're going to hit you with 5G. And it turns out it's a weapons grade freaking 5G. There you go. Yeah. What more do you need to know? You don't need it. How insane can how insane can a human being be to be blind to the concept of danger, Will Robinson? Danger. What? Where did because we go they wrong? Because got sold, and that's all part of that whole um, oh. advertising campaign gimmicky shit where they know what they're doing. Yeah. Oh. They know exactly how the human psyche works, but they say, but it's faster. Your download speeds will be faster. They don't tell you how much faster. They just say it's faster. When you find out how much faster it is, Mm -hmm. do you know that your eye blinks faster than the increase in download speed? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. All that technical geek talk, but. See, that's but all a they, lot of people they don't they think oh wait it it downloads as fast as you can blink your eyes already no no, yeah. no. <laughs> whatever your stuff is downloading at now mm. blink your eyes uh, and that's how much faster yeah. the download it's I it's not that it com- downloads as fast as you blink your eyes that's the that's the incremental increase mm. is. Okay, blink your eyes. That's how much faster it's going to. Hey, that would make yeah. a hell of a t-shirt. So, you know, it's it's one of those, oh, yeah, 5G. All righty then. Yeah. I blink my eyes. Blink your eyes. A thousand times. Okay. And it's still not done downloading. But yeah. if you subtract one eye blink, uh-huh. yeah, now it downloads in 999 blinks. Uh-huh. Woo-woo. You the man. Uh-huh. Mine's faster. One less blink. Really? BFD. Wow. wow. I'm glad you got that out of your system. Oh, I feel better. You were frightening me. I was gonna I was <laughs> I was about ready to crawl under the desk and hide with the cat. But you regained composure and I became Yes, I did. Well, I became it, myself again. It I and I think it's it's that Twitter shit. I keep seeing these stupid ads from all these places of now with 5G. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Advertise that poison. Yeah. You just, oh, wait, it's not really poison. Yeah. Because most people look at poison as a contact thing or an ingested thing. Yeah. Whereas this is a frequency thing. It'll yep. It just mess your brain up. And you can't fight it. There's no, there's no uh, defense against it. It doesn't exist. But actually trees. Trees because five G cannot go through trees. Oh, That's why when they're putting those that antennas part. up, okay. they're taking down all of the mature trees because it can't go through the trees. Well, you know, the first <laughs> sign of any kind of revolution would be is these things being forcibly removed by people that don't have authority to remove them. Because the courts saw ahead and they made sure that there's no way to fight this in court. The well, and they court, don't have a clue either. Yeah, they do. They read about it. They have made clear to me in writing that they, they saw this coming. You can only argue in court about the aesthetics of the thing, not not what physical harm it may do you. That's off the table. You're not allowed to yeah. bring it up to court. Whoa, what the fuck? Are, how ignorant are we're living well, yeah. amongst idiots or what? This they call this a legal system. It's fucking embarrassing, is what it is. It's a legal system so long as you play within the legal parameters that they set out for you because they write the rules. Mm. Well, they lie about everything that's bad for you and the shit that's good for you. They lie about that, so you don't know that's good for you, and you think that things that are bad for you are good for you. You think that things that are good for you are bad for you. Oh, they got people yeah. pitted against. Nature against science, right there. I'm, yeah. Fuck science, right in the ass. Science doesn't have anything I want to know if it's pitted against what I can physically see. And plus all these plant things I've done over the time I've been here growing plants. and It's amazing what a little attention 
does to a plant. You just water it and go, hey, you look pretty good today, like some kind of goofy weirdo on the radio. And your plants just go boom. And they exp- yeah. I've got, I've got plants that uh, my mother-in-law gave me two years ago. And they're so big and they're still thriving and they're leaving offspring new plants. Went, ah, isn't that cool? All I do is a little water and go, hey, you guys look pretty good. Sound like some kind of nut job talking to a plant. But the plants, they, it's a frequency that you're it's putting out. Very strange. Well, wow. I've got stuff growing in the window that chilies. Had a chili off. Uh, Cirque started the plants out in the yard, but we had an early. Uh, rain and wiped everything out so we had to try to salvage it so uh-huh. i pulled these three out of the yard and put them in the window see if i can grow and then one chili was growing but she picked it and we ate it <laughs> but it's got new buds coming off the leaves and i'm just like how the hell is it's november it's freaking cold as hell outside but these plants get enough heat and enough uh maintenance for me to thrive no matter what the weather yeah. Because I had red flower plant growing in my windowsill until about two weeks ago. So I took it out of the pot and it's so compacted in there. It stood up uh-huh. in the yard and it's still, it's so cold out there. It's still standing from what it was in the pot and it's got new flowers on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, cool. yeah, I'm like, what's that guy, the green thumb guy? Ah, see, now my mums haven't died yet, and it's been, it's cold enough that it's pretty much knocked everything. My mums and my lamb's ears are still going okay outside, but I'm sure they're going to go into hibernation mode here. Oh, climate change. I had to bring my ginger inside, though, because it's been too cold for the ginger. Yeah, climate change will fix all that. Don't worry. Yes, it will. It'll fix it. Why can't people just accept that the climate changes and that's not a reason to tax anybody for anything? But no, you know what they've got? See, this is my take on this thing, right? They got this kid. They write a bunch of shit to her, and they go, here, read this. And you get people listening to a kid read something, and they go, oh, look at how smart she is. She believes all the beautiful stuff. You don't know what that kid believes. You just know what you're hearing. <laughs> uh, you ever lie to get a cheeseburger? No. Okay, well, I have. But I'm just saying, there are... Okay, they're putting this child in front of the United Nations reading the script, and they're they're giving it the thumbs up like it means something. And oh it, yeah, it's yeah, in, she's as, so intelligent, she's as, so insightful. As a she's sixty, so... yeah, as a sixty-year-old carbon-based life form, I want to tell you two things. One, that girl doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. At sixteen, corporations didn't mean shit to me. Where did some retard come out way the fuck ahead of where I was when I was sixteen, and I could drive? You know, and hitchhike and do all kinds of shit all by myself without parental consent or or adults handling me. And here they got this little retard girl being catered around by her mommy and daddy to the United Nations preaching at us about what we're doing wrong. What the fuck is going on here? Sorry, I had to get that off my mind. (laughs) Do you feel better now? No. No. Because, see, the, the, the existing problem isn't the story that's being told. It's that there's a there's a body of people out there in the fucking world that believe this crap. Yeah. That's my problem. How can you be so easily fooled by such an obvious story? Yeah. Good God. The Wizard of Oz was not real, people. It was a metaphor for banking and society. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well... Not to say the Wizard of Oz is real, but the Wizard of Oz is real. He's just got a big nose and a circumcision. Oh, big nose and circumcision. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, come on. The Jews are up to their freaking eyeballs in American politics. Half of your Senate holds dual citizenship. It's embarrassing how America has turned on people. I used to be an American. I used to live there. You wouldn't know it the way I talk now. Yeah, I would. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because I can do the voices of all the peoples of the Americas, my friend. Uh, yeah, well, you're American. Oh, man. I don't want to be an American, though. 
Do you know what it means? If you look at the damn documents and find out what the reality of all this crap means. Now, to me as an individual, not to you, but what I read made me say, oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Because what it's meant to me was I'm a possession of their corporate entity. That's as far as I could get with it. There's no government. It's a business. They own you. Oh, yeah. They trade you on the freaking stock exchanges, chattel. Give me a fucking yeah. break. I don't, how could you willingly want to participate in that kind of fucking shit? I mean, I'd rather be held hostage than willingly walk into that crap. That's not going to happen. Well, that's why they keep people so uninformed in what really matters. Well, like what really matters is, to people is the gossip they read about who murdered who and how they got to trial and who they killed and why they killed them and what they killed them with. If they got enough years on their – that's what interests people, sadly. Finance and freaking, you know, the, the fucking electricity we get fed and the waste that this shit produces and that there is no opt-out to do anything fucking but what we're doing. That's what I had a problem with. You know, see, and what I have a problem with is all these people going around saying – the Constitution and the Bill of Rights gave us these rights. No. No, they didn't. No. They didn't give you any fucking rights. No, they didn't give you shit. No. Constitution and Bill of Rights were merely stipulating what you were born with. Well, and what it was the, to keep the government at base. The government would never get to be what the government is today. If people understood that it's these were not gifts handed down to us uh, they by the almighty government. These were little things that said, here you shall not pass. Here you shall not pass. But it got topsy-turvy somewhere along the way. I'm, I'm not real sure where. I know they don't teach civics class anymore in high school. But hmm. somewhere along the way, people got convinced that instead of you know, those rights are inherent to you. You were born with them. Simply by virtue of being born, you have bada bing, bada boom. Right, but they but now, stripped us of that. The government grants right, yeah. you these. They stripped us of what nature promised, and they replaced it with what man promised. And what man they promises. They redefined. Yeah, redefined. yeah. And what man promises you is always got a fucking problem connected to it somewhere. Nothing yeah. in the fucking world is 100% perfect the way you want it. It's going to have a rough spot here and there. Like me, I am not a fucking pleasant living kind of guy for the about at least half, maybe more than half of, of my time. You know, I'm just not like that. Whatever that is, I'm more of a sarcastic, biting kind of snarl, like a cat. You don't know. Ah. That's yeah, see that's what I've learned from the cat since we moved in the house. We've had this freaking cat. Uh -huh. And yeah, he likes me. Ooh, and I'm telling you, the, the cat will sit next to me more than the dog will. And you know how dogs are, but not not Hannah. Hannah's more like Cirque. And then the cat, I don't know, he's like me. Sometimes he wants to be sitting close and sometimes he wants to be torturing my aloe vera plant. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know they didn't like aloe vera plants. You know how I found out? How's that? Well, I keep them in the windowsill. Guess what gets into mm -hmm. the windowsill? Cat. Cats like windowsills. Yeah. And anything, anything yeah. that is taking up some of their cat-granted seating yeah. place yeah. 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 is well, now an evil, vile enemy and nemesis and must be destroyed. That's just a cat thing. But what I found was little bits of spit out freaking aloe vera on the all around the plant and on the window. Yeah. Yeah, cuz cats like to chew on plants. I have one that does that as well. And it's not just aloe vera plants. So, Cirque went to the computer and the computer told her that that's not a good plant for the cat to play with. No, it's not. Okay, well, and what led me to believe it and bring it up is there were bit, little bit, bit and pieces of the tips of the plant all over the place, like a dozen of them. Uh -huh. why, why would he keep doing the same thing over and over and then spitting them out? Because she says that it's not good for the cat to eat it. But 
he's an outside feral cat, so he knows his plants. What was his attraction to that? Maybe he's like and a yet, junkie, and he wants you know, to get a death they say that, that the plant is bad for the cats, and yet um, in my pet water, I put aloe vera juice when I refill the pet water jug. Mm. I put aloe vera juice in there mm. because it helps with joints and it helps with tummy issues. And if I do not put aloe vera juice in the pet water, mm -hmm. my oldest kitty cat, Doozer, mm. starts hacking up food all over uh, the place. Talk and to Sir. Okay. Aloe vera okay. juice helps yeah, but soothe her tummy. Sir trusts you, too. Why don't you guys bring that up to her let her know? Because I got the opposite response from what she checked. Well, and chewing on plants, a lot of times it's just the plant itself, the fibrous of the plant. Yeah, and yeah. Cats, cats and dogs both eat grasses yeah, yeah. in I've order to... Puke stuff up. Yeah. yeah. Hannah has done so, that many times. Yeah, well, yeah. see, that's what I mean about nature. You know what I mean? Nature takes care of nature, but science takes care of us. Now, when two dogs meet, they generally don't really want to argue and fight with each other, but they do sometimes scare the person that's not familiar with dogs. And one yes. of them might snarl or growl or sniff their other's ass or whatever the interaction is. It's not going to come to any fucking lethal fight. It's just two dogs. But with people, geez, wow, some people are sensitive to words, Miss Mary. You can get yourself in serious trouble saying other words to other carbon-based life forms. Did you know that? That's true. Yep. Yep. Why? Why are we so fucking sensitive to words, but not sensitive to the the frequency that the electricity is delivered on? Or, or here's my other thing. Maybe the result of the electrical frequency is this bad freaking side of me that comes out sometimes at terrible times for people. And I just say horrible shit. Don't mean anything at the moment. Just bleh. But you got to yeah. remember, somebody else is hearing it. Well, when it's the, whoever's doing it at the time doesn't think nothing of it. They know what I'm talking about. There you go. It's a very individual thing, but I think a lot of the dorks share it. Because I see a lot of people make a comment on the uh, chat room sometimes and maybe never, and never back that up again because you changed your mind. Just let it go. Then I see some people back up some of the most wacky things I've ever read. But... We live in a free society to say whatever we please, no matter how ridiculous it is. And I think that side of life needs to be entertained without so much fucking judgment. But how? Because we're all indoctrinated into this fucking judgment, way, balance, check, blah, till your head wants to fucking explode or you want to punch something. And it's like, wow, where does all that anger come from? Ooh. And I'm thinking that there's more to this. What Larry Woods opened up to me is it's just amazing. Can never repay him for what he did. And but I find very few people are are interested in the, the topics enough to go anywhere with them, besides whether to agree or disagree. And that has nothing to do with it. Whether you agree with something that you can't physically identify with your eyes, you know, and see it. But you know it's there. That's the rarity. That person that gets what you're talking about. Yeah. Can't see oxygen. Right? No. Have you ever seen a fart? Actually, yes. Never mind. <laughs> wow. When it's really, really cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God for standing. <laughs> Because of spandex, Mary once actually saw a fart. Did you take a picture? No. <laughs> that would have been good. Take a video of that one. I was so busy laughing. Yeah. Oh, my God. I Yeah. I really laughed. And my sister was so embarrassed. And I was just, that was just priceless, dude. Hmm. I saw you fart. Do you, do you ever watch, do you ever watch the internet for sick, for sick giggles about people that did stupid shit? You know, like they're cutting a tree and the tree falls the wrong way and crap, just destroys their freaking house. Yeah, I've seen some of that, yeah. All right. It's as heartbreaking I mean, as it really truly is to, to see somebody lose their whole fucking life 
over one stupid little mistake, right? But mm-hmm. on the bright side, nobody died, but still, you idiot, look what you did. Well, <laughs> see, shit happens. <laughs> there you go. It's the Darwin Awards, yes. All right, but it's those who uh, challenge Murphy's Law. <laughs> it's a it's a sick entertainment, though. I mean, I for one brief moment just laugh because wow, that's just so stupid. And then in the next moment, I find myself going, yeah, but that poor fucker lost everything he owns. And, you know, he's being in debt forever trying to fix this mess that he created, trying to fix a mess. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what these things have taught me, seeing them in physical life and then, oh, of course, on the Internet. <laughs> Slow down. There's no hurry, but Buster. Nowhere to fucking go. Rushing gets you your fucking house caves in. <laughs> that's, what, that's what a hurry buys you. See? Yes. So, yes. and I've always, good Lord, people, hurry up. What's, what are you doing? Why are you always so slow? Yeah, well, here I'm still here. <laughs> I must have missed the train wreck that they were in a hurry to get to. Oh man! Hey, when you I know, think about tells me to hurry up, and I, I, it, I've actually caught myself like, wait a minute, stop doing that, because I, I will actually slow my pace mm-hmm. when someone tells me to hurry up. It's like, oh really? You're vicious. I'm not moving fast enough. Yeah, All watch this. Then. Here, get a get a stopwatch and you know, and a bag of Doritos because it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Did you know what I found out watching a link that Cowboy Tech showed me today? What's that? I found out that uh, Windows hides shit in your registry, and sometimes in your tax task. So talking like a Mexican, in your oh. task scheduler. And I went, whoa, because uh, Grim helped me out with the computer the other day. And what uh-huh. my problem what my problem was is I had conflicting um, antivirus software on my computer. It was operating at the same time, and somehow, because they were both running, making problems for shit. So yeah. Grimner said, hey, let me take a look in here and see what could be holding you up. And he dug a little deeper, and hey, you got McAfee on here. Or McAfee, however you want to put it. Everybody yeah. pronounces it different. But it's that crap hard, um, Windows, you know, makes my Windows yeah. bone go soft. And uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Ugh. So so Grim, Grim, Grim's on the computer doing, you know, checking this and getting rid of that. And I wanted to just tell him on the radio. So you do, hey, it's more predictable now than it was before. So I'm uh, sorry I'd caused all this trouble uninstalling Windows, but I just couldn't take it one more fucking day. <laughs> I knew something was amiss somewhere, and drastic measures need to be taken. So Ah, so you pushed buttons. Mm, with a vengeance, too. And I was <laughs> I was so proud of myself. You would have been amazed, Miss Mary. I got the broadcaster, you know, the most of it. I had made it so it retrieved all the important stuff. But I didn't know how to recognize that, where that was to get to it. How to recognize, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So Grimner went through everything and went, oh, look at this. And here it is. And it had most of the stuff that he needed that had seemed to be deleted, wasn't it? It was kept in a separate file when I uninstalled the freaking Windows. So I did something halfway right, at least. And uh, what I didn't do right, he kind of got on there and <laughs> helped me with. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting it to be way worse. So are you operating Linux now? No, no, no. I'm still using – I'm a gamer. So I, I use Windows because I'm a gamer. Oh, okay. And there is a game that I use that I don't think Linux would operate it. And even if it did, I don't want to interrupt that computer and start messing with shit. That won't work. You know what I mean? Everything's fine. Leave it well enough alone. <laughs> yeah, mm. I understand that. And then you know, people will go, "Well, there, there's this and there's that." And it's this. Uh, it's an older computer. We use it for the TV mostly. So they have a big screen mm-hmm. TV connected to the computer. To... Oh, did you know what they did? They killed YouTube right in the face. Shot it. How'd they do that? 
You got to, well, okay, Grimner and, and uh, who else was it? Uh, Grim and somebody else were saying, oh, I have to do that anyway. But now, you got to go through Gmail to get to Windows, or to get to YouTube. You got to be all signed up and joined up. And No, no, no. See, that's where you lose me. I mean, I'll go through the registering to be on a site once, but I ain't doing it midway. No way. If Grim, if Grim come up with some new crap tomorrow and said, hey, you got to, you got to do all this, and I need your mother's, you know, maiden name and blood tests. I, no, and that's how I feel. How intrusive all this Windows crap is to me because I'm such a private entity. Hmm. Okay, and, I know. I'm and invisible. I've had I've had a YouTube account forever and ever and ever. Hmm? Well, I haven't. You know, basically because I wanted to be able to like videos. Okay, well, there's you other know, people yeah. on the planet besides you. There's people get, getting pissed off because they're being shadow banned and band banned and Instagram banned and Twitter banned and all this crap. I read about it all the time. It's oh, like, well, yeah, it's I like get going to a family reunion and not getting drunk and listening to all their shit. Oh, fuck. Help me. Oh, see, and I, I actually enjoy that, watching all the drunks, because it's like, oh, man. Oh, I like being one of them. You guys are going to feel like shit, but I'm going to feel good tomorrow. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, Grimner called it crap of me. Well, anyway, thank you very much for all of you. He's he's been helping, probably will still be helping in the future, because I'm just not taken to the computer. It doesn't, you know, it's just such a strange language to my thinking process. See, and I, I know just enough about computers to break things really good. Yeah. Well, I wonder if if I didn't pers- if I did go to like say pursue programming information and follow it and see where it led me. See that the outcome could be horrible for mankind. I could become a cult leader. I could start my own personal cult, lead them to the promised land and shit like that. The cult of Flash. <laughs> There's well, people out there trying to do that right now as we speak. You know that, right? They call them different things, but they're still fucking cults. Oh, yeah. Mm. They call them shit like, like a, education, religion, politics. You know what they are? They're fucking cults. That's what they are. You know why? Because I said so. <laughs> Ah, and in my reality, ah. I dictate my reality over here, little missy. Let me tell you. And up until there's handcuffs on you, and you're going to a cell, their shit doesn't exist. And it just so happens that uh, the population where I'm at is so small that the police don't come bothering people looking for something to do. It's <laughs> hmm. what it you came know, you to were in America. About cult. You were talking about cults, and and it reminded me of something. I don't even remember where in the hell I saw it, but I saw something on the interwebs in the last couple days about um, we need you to join Anonymous. Oh, no, 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 no. And I'm like, no. um, No. You know why? Part of joining and Anonymous, do do you not get? Well, yeah, but. Because Anonymous is like. Do you realize uh, uh, the, anonymous. F- the FBI and took over Anonymous in 2011? Well, they you took know, over when Anon. You, they when infiltrated you join it. something, you're no longer anonymous. <sighs> oh, they, well, it doesn't matter, but the point behind the whole group was a bunch of bullshit because it was full of FBI eight years ago, nine years ago. Horrible. And the kids well, that started that shit in the first place were trying to uh, expose a child abuser to the public. And yeah. because they did, they were successful at their crime, they got charged with, and they spent more time in jail than the fucker that did the shit to the kid. Yeah. This well, is our and fucked you know up why? system. You know why? Because people are because, fucking idiots. Yeah. Well, number one is because they snooped better than the uh, supposedly authorized snoopers did and for and the they dirty the talkers authorized snoopers look bad and for the dirty talkers they don't know what the fuck they're doing there you go the left hand don't know what the right hand's doing in life period get used to it or you don't i, I don't really know anybody that's stuck in a city where they're complaining about it so hmm. 
just the stuff that I read. You know, I don't know any of these people personally. So, hmm. but I really doubt there'd be that much uh, just random nonsense that wasn't true. You know, the air of the stories that people tell, it all reeks of disappointment and failure. Yeah. It's very, cops kill this person and this person was shot doing that. What? What happened? People are fighting over chicken sandwiches. There's big memes about it. Like it's like it's some kind of amusement or a source of entertainment. And see, I really think that that, that just proves that, number one, are these 5G areas? Number oh, two, how much chemtrailing has been going on there? Yeah. Number three, how yeah. much fluoridation is in the water? See. I mean, there's any one thing is bad, but when you start adding them all together. When you start like, looking at, at, at this negative crap as a form of entertainment, that's where I start to really notice, hey, something's not right with me if I'm enjoying it. You know what I mean? I saw the damn thing. I didn't open it. I, I just lit, I just read what I saw. And I went, wow, that's sick. Fuck that. I don't, you know, I'm not in that. So I can still make a conscious um, decision about my personal stand on fighting with other people over sandwiches. I refuse yeah. to do it. If you're that fucking hungry that you need my sandwich, I will give you my fucking sandwich. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to die because I don't get a meal. I'm not that, not like that. Well, you know, people have been doing stupid shit over freaking chicken McNuggets. <laughs> That's years. what I'm saying. Right, right, right. And I don't eat that garbage no more anyway. But I did what I was living in the bar deal. Lived on fast food and alcohol and other, you know, additives. But stuff. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I, 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 survived. I don't get the whole, you know, getting all bent out of shape and pissed off over oh, what? Goodness. They ran out of something? <laughs> really? Is that okay. what that's about? They what? ran out of shit. <laughs> you know, it's, oh, wow. See, it's an entertaining. It, see how sick it is? It made me freaking laugh to think that people, to see, to but, think it is one thing, but to see the picture or the video of it. That takes it to a whole nother level. It's still, it's one of those things. Are you so freaking self-important that all of a sudden you have <laughs> great you fault? Eight McNuggets. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> Dick wow. Filet ran out of chicken sandwiches. Oh. OMG. Did it not know that you were coming in? Yeah, and so. that they needed to save one back for you. <laughs> they turned us into Talk a of, bunch of rain man. Oh, freaking vengeful gods with a small G, every damn one of them. What do you mean I do not have what I prefer? What do you mean? <laughs> There's only three I fish sticks on my plate. I gotta have six. There's only three. So he takes a knife and he cuts them. <laughs> now they're six. Hey, see, Shut up. See, there you go. Now that that's, yeah. Yeah, that's what, see, that's what I did with my kids. <laughs> that's called a forced compromise. Because if you if you question the, the hand that fed that line to you, you're liable to get slapped in the mouth. So, as a child, I learned, oh, you know, from the state stopping me to be left-handed to be right-handed, I learned not to do certain things so I wouldn't get, you know, uh, fixed. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, the scars that it leaves you are way worse than being left-handed. I'll tell you that from experience. And I'm no anthrax. You know, oh, life sucks, sucks because what happened 30 years ago? No, life made me what I am because I participated in it, and this is the results of what I did. And there you go. And people are so fucking fussy. They want you to dance to this tune they call all the time. Da, 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 da. And I'm I'm one of those. That just every once in a while, I knock the record player over just to see who will pick it up and try to fix it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, well, I'm a little bit older now, and I'm not so you know, physical about it. But that's the mentality that I carry. I know it. I wasn't raised by a bunch of quiet people. You know? 
<laughs> and I was that must be what it is because I, I was, sure uh, hell wasn't either. Yeah, and I was the smallest of the two of us, but the oldest. So I had a uh, I had a lot of people going, "Hey, who's this little guy?" Oh, <laughs> little guy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, I got used to that, so it never really scarred me. Where. If people call me small, yeah, I'm small. What? What? What What are you telling me? I don't know. I got long hair, too. Got brown eyes. Ah, you want a real laugh? Hey, look at this nose. Hey, you want to see my circumcision? Want to see my tattoo? It says, made in the United States of America. Never mind. I don't think they want to go that far, Captain Obvious. Oh. (laughs) I was being (laughs) sarcastical. I, I was know. joking because you know I would I would do, I would I would do it on the radio as words, but probably not nose to nose. I'm not like yeah. Vinny. Vinny's all nose to nose. Vinny, you know Vinny. Vinny's all hooty doody what? Vinny, Vinny the Vinny the hoot. You know Vinny. Oh yeah, Vinny's Vinny. Oh but yeah, Mister. What? See, and there are some people that in time, with enough patience and enough. You know, time put involved with the thing to make it go somewhere. You can learn to accept them, anything they fucking say at some point in the relationship. That's where me and Vinny got to with our, our radio thing. I don't really care what Vinny says anymore. I, I, he, it's not a negative thing. It's just whatever he fucking says, ah, that's Vinny. Not, yeah. not everybody in life gets to that part of communication with me. Some people assume it. And I've had to tell people to their face right when I first met them. Hey, you know, you don't know me well enough to talk to me like that, right? And you would be amazed the fucking look on the face of the person that receives that comment. They, they know right away. Oh, yeah. Well, well, hey, then back up a little bit there, Charlie, and slow down because, you know, you're going to end up alone if you don't. And went, oh, okay. Backpedal. Backpedal. Well, you, you, you can't ever make up for a mistake. You can only learn from the mistake. You can't correct it. There's no correcting it. It's done. It's just yeah. like a kiss. You don't take a kiss back, you idiot. Once you do it, it's a done deal. Well, then how are yeah. these other things any freaking different that you give people? And you and guys did a radio about it last night. Well, people... You have to be willing to take what somebody else is giving or it doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do have to be willing to take it. I mean, people can dish out whatever they want to dish out. And sometimes... willing to take it. And sometimes the intention is misinterpreted by the listener because the speaker is a loose cannon in the first place. Me. That's how I am. I'm liable to say any fucking thing in the world, but... I guarantee you, physically, there's sin. I have limits. See, verbally, I'm a can. I got no concern for anybody hearing what I got to think. What I think comes out, and sometimes I get people upset about it, and sometimes nobody gives a fuck. It's a very weird place to be with words. Words, your words matter, and all this kind of shit we're taught. It's a bunch of nonsense. What matters is something deeper that we're taught to interpret on the wrong wavelength. And I think that's where I fuck up. I get emotional instead of physical. Let the thing get to your physical. Not not hear it and react like an idiot. Get mad at somebody for calling you a nigger. Or whatever, a Jew, a Mexican. Yeah, so what? What the fuck is your problem? Not, oh, you can't talk to me like that. But now we've got a whole world of people that they're more concerned about what you fucking say to them than what you physically do to them. Think about it. Hmm. Think about it. They okay. want to have laws. Hate laws. Hate laws, I Mary. Know. Laws. I know. There ought to be a law. Because really, somebody doesn't talk the way you want, you're going to make a criminal at them. Is that freedom of speech, really? Oh, freedom well, of speech is for people that are crazy. I mean, they're... they're They're breeding it out of the people in school. This is what education has brought us to. This collective, my butt hurts because you talk to me, bullshit. While they poison us with every fucking thing we use. And I'm a little bit hot at the end of the show. (laughs) Sorry about that, dear. (laughs) That's okay. 
You want to close uh, us out on this here dork table? And thank you, Miss I, Mary. I, I think you've pretty much used up all the time. All I, I got to say is people tell you you can never go home. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> you are home. home. Is not a, home is not a building. Yeah. yeah. Home is a state of mind. Yeah. It's hard to explain. You can always go home. Because you you got to find that out yourself though. Can't be yep. can't be helped. You can't be helped to some of these concepts. They just got you find them and you go, oh my goodness, it is real after all. Who who knew? Oh, those crazy people on the dork table knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knowing is only the beginning of the problem. Once you know, then you find out just how useless this information truly is. <laughs> Because <laughs> the majority of people don't give a fuck if they're eating poison or if they're going to a Rockefeller medicine's going to kill them. They don't care. They don't even believe you. They think you're crazy. The banking is fraudulent. No, it's not. They got I got money. I got paid at my bank this week. Oh, but you see, the people taking the Rockefeller medicine will be the first to tell you. But look at all those people back in the day, and and they were dying. And it's like, yeah. And- more dying now. Ugh. Look at the numbers. All right. Yeah. See you next what week, did people everybody. Do before Rockefeller Medicine. That's your question of the day. They peed no. under. They peed on each other under a big tent. That was See, medical. Medical old... practice in a nutshell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Later, taters. Oh Christ, Eddie. T- hey, you're always welcome to radio with me. Doing it Tuesday night with Vinny. I don't think Vinny would mind if you pop in if you're available. We're doing it in a perfect world together again for your listening enjoyments. Yay. Anyway, all right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Roger Wilco, over and out. Be in the funny papers. (laughs) 